Hello everybody, my name's Mine. I'm streaming Minecraft again, and hopefully I'm streaming to both Twitch and YouTube. Anyway, this is the Aero Team server, we're working on Nagasaki Airport, and I'm going to be building a gate, because it's been highly requested that I do a gate tutorial. So I'm also going to start recording on um, Replay Mod, and afterwards you might get a video on how to build a gate in Minecraft. Who knows? Who knows? Hello, Gunnar34. You know what would be cool? Um, Anyway, we're streaming on both Twitch and YouTube right now, so if you want to check that out, you can. I'm going to be showing you guys how we b how to build a gate in Minecraft pretty much. So, on the right-hand side, you're going to be able to see that I've got Google Earth open. And that's going to be pretty key to us building this in Minecraft. So I have a measure tool that you can't necessarily see, but ju just know that um, if you click, if you go to the top of Google Earth, there's this taskbar and there's a ruler on the taskbar and that ruler, once you get into it, there's going to be line, path, polygon, circle, 3D path, and 3D polygon. You're going to want to click on 3D path, and that will allow you to measure things such as these buildings. And you'll sort of be able to see these lines on the buildings. Excuse me. Now, there's actually another tab that you can't see right now, and that's basically what we're using to measure. Anyway. Is this like a perfect square right here? 3.9. Okay, no. It should be like that. Cool. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is come right here and here and we're going to measure. Now you're going to notice that it's meshing weird and that's typically because there's actually only one gate here, but because they're in multiple positions and whenever Google takes their imagery data and 3D data, it'll often get multiplied into two. Uh, and here it's even worse. You've got like one, two, three, four, five um, different gates. Um, that, that's just something you're going to have to deal with and you're going to have to be just generally uh, mature enough to figure, just honestly, just figure it out in terms of what you're actually measuring. Um, but what we're going to end up doing is we're going to come here. And we're going to measure this. Now, for me, it shows that it's about 2.72 meters. Uh, now, we call this a rotunda. I don't know if that's the right name, but it's the name we call it. Um, and we're going to work in 1.5 to 1, so we're going to have to multiply that by 1.5. So we just do calc 1.5 times 2.72. That's going to be four blocks wide. 
So what we're going to end up doing here now is we're going to make a little circle that's four blocks wide. Now, it doesn't really matter what block you use right now because in the end, you're going to end up having to change it anyway. Um, because we're, we're just doing this for reference. I should change the title of, of this stream. Anyway, so we're going to come over here and I'm just going to make a little circle. This is a circle with a radius of two and it's four blocks wide. Okay, and that's what we have right here. Now again, I've got a measure tool that you can't see, but if you roll back a little, I told you how to access it. Now, what we need to do next is sort of figure out where the gate's going to be. So you'll notice because of the thing that I mentioned earlier, where the Google Earth imagery will sometimes duplicate the gate, you can get a sense of an idea of where it might be when it's attached to an aircraft, say the 737 right here, or when it's in its resting position out of the way for an aircraft to come in. Now, I want to populate this airport with loads of aircraft, and we do have a 737-800. So maybe in the next thumbnail, you might see a 737-800. So I'm going to build this gate, assuming that there's going to be a 737-800 at it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to need to figure out where this uh, gate lies. And so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to try my best to sort of get... We don't want to measure diagonally, right? because it's very hard to convert diagonal length into Minecraft. I mean, it's possible you can do it, um, but what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna put a little marker down right here, right by where the side of the rotunda is, and I'm gonna measure, and I'm gonna try my best to line it up with the uh, center of the other one. Now. Some airports, it's a little easier to do because we'll end up using um, markings on the ground uh, in order to figure out where uh, it is. But Nagasaki is a bit of a planar airport, so we're going to have to try our best here. Um, but just using my eyesight, I'm able to tell that this is fairly straight, although I can use this line right here to sort of tell me that I maybe need to straighten it out a little bit. At 1.5 to 1, this isn't going to make too much of a difference, so you can generally be a bit relaxed with this. Anyway, the next thing we're going to do is, well, that's a length of 13.93, and I'm just going to multiply 13.93 times 1.5. Now that is a total of 20 blocks long. I'm going to grab a different red block, let's grab red wool. And I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to stack this 20 blocks. And this is going to be the length from that rotunda over there to the other one that's going to be over there. Now, what else we're going to have to do? Well, we're going to have to do the same thing from the other side. So I would suggest leaving this one here because that's where your position is. And then I'm going to pull this over here. Now, you may notice that there is a bit of meshing with the Google Earth 3D. And that's just something we have to deal with. Now, I'm going to try my best to sort of line it up to the edge. Can move it over a bit more. Oops. Hello, Squish. So that's going to be about 13.94 long. So again, I'm going to do slash, I'm going to grab a handy dandy calculator and multiply it by 1.5, which is again, 21 blocks long. So I'm going to stack it by 20 because of course you already have this block here. So this is all 21 long together. Now, what I've noticed is this is actually pretty close to being a perfect 45 degree angle. I don't know if that's intentional, with the gate design, I, I would assume it is. Um, so, 
we'll just keep that in mind. Now, I'm going to mark out this rotunda over here. Oh, thank you, Squish. We do appreciate most underrated chat. I should set up a thing that, like, puts um, the super chats. I've just never done it because we've only had, like, one or two ever. But thank you. It is much appreciated. We are working. And I'm, now that it's proper summer for me, I've got time. I'm going to be extra committed to this channel and to this server. And I'm going to hopefully be bringing you guys cool content and stuff that you ask for. Because sometimes we just don't do it. Anyway, if you wanted to get extra extra on this build you could use pythagorean's theorem okay so we can measure here and go from the center of that rotunda to the center of the other one okay yeah high school math try um and that's 21.59 blocks long or meters long which will come out to 35 Point three eight five. Uh, oh my god, why am I forgetting Pythagorean's theorem? That's embarrassing. Uh, oh yeah, a squared. Yeah, okay. Because this is a 90. We're assuming that it's a right triangle. Um, now you know the length of one block is one, so it's what, um, this is embarrassing, square root of two, is about 1.41421, which, that's the diagonal. Is the stream back? Yeah, but is it back? It says it's back for me. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. I seem to have had my internet cut out for a second. Anyway, um, 21.59 times 1.5 and then we'll just do that divide by so it's gonna be about well 21 blocks long so so that's good the dimension the basic dimensions that I used earlier uh, we're just right um, and assuming it's at a 45 degree angle which it appears it is although maybe maybe not maybe it is it seems like it's right we can even stack this yep and it lines up perfectly very nice very good so that's the basic like dimensions that we're going to need for this gate, right? We're going to need to know where our endpoint or where our starting point is and where our endpoint is. So you basically have two rotating bits on the either end. We call those rotundas. I'm not sure if that's the correct terminology, but we've got a rotunda here and rotunda right there. Now there is going to be the actual gate on this end. We'll have to do that as you can see right there. Uh, but basically, we can get started with going ahead and building the actual gate itself. Now, off. Hello. Hello, Pasta. Now, oftentimes, when you're building a gate, uh, you'll notice that gates can contract and expand, and that'll be at certain joints, like right here, uh, if you see on the stream. 
Now some gates have more, some gates have three joints, like this one over here, and they're typically in different positions. This one's all the way at the end, and this one is right in the middle. Um, and you're just gonna sort of have to deal with that uh, and make sure uh, that you're able to uh, do it uh, correctly. Uh, it's just something that you're gonna have to make note of. So this one, we can see that it's basically in the center. We're gonna have to measure where that is, but that'll come at the end. What I was gonna more importantly talk about is oftentimes it gets thinner. Like right here, it'll get thinner. But in Minecraft, it's really not enough to sort of model that correctly without making it look a little strange. There's a few things that we can do to make it to sort of mimic that, although we only try um, our best. What do you mean try? Mind, I'm trying to, I'm gonna try lining up where the YouTube guy went. Hello, Jay. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about, try. So what we're going to do now is we're going to measure the height off the ground. Now it gets a little messy around gates, oftentimes because there's lots of stuff stored under them. As you can see here. Now I'm, I have a few tricks up my sleeve to get the height of this. First I'm just simply going to measure it. I need the 3D path turn on. Simply going to measure the height. And it's about 4.71 uh, blocks tall. I'm going to make a proper jetway tutorial later. For now, this is sort of like, if you ask for it, here's a reference. Anyway, calc 4.7 times 1.5, and it'll be seven blocks high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is right where this is. And then we're going to need to measure the actual height of the gate. So I'm going to move this up here. And it's 2.57. Which is going to be four blocks tall. It's going to build it out like that. Now, I don't like building in red or any other color that's not necessarily realistic because it's oftentimes hard to tell. But a lot of the times I'll go through and do the actual block colors later because uh, normally you don't use Google Earth as your reference for colors because it's just not very good at that. You want actual photo references, so I'll try to find a photo reference later. For now I'm just going to use a block that's sort of close to what I see on Google Earth and I think that's going to be, uh, I think I'm going to use this light grey wall texture. Oh, hello, F.A. Yes. Hello. Is there a way to make your stream previews look better on Twitch? I should figure that out. Hello, Aviation16. Anyway, so now that we've got that done, we're gonna come in here. And you're gonna notice there's a bit of a hump right here. Now, so it depends on what chat way you're building. This one, I think that's just the way it connects. I'm going to need to get a proper reference for this. Um,
oftentimes if you just search up chat the airport name and then chat bridge you'll be able to find something Oops, sorry. Um, now, what I can tell, though, is that it's a bit of a jump up. And I'm going to get a slab just to prepare to build it. Typically, for something like that, we're going to go... When you're building a jetway, if it's at a 45 degree angle, sometimes it actually makes it a bit harder to do things. Uh, but we're still going to try our best with it. So it'll be something sort of like this, although possibly a shape like this is more accurate. Sort of just depends on what you're going for. And then we come back into Google Earth um, and we're gonna outline the actual chat bridge. Now, we need to know how wide it is. And because we're building at this at an angle, we can use the angle to our advantage to sort of make, uh, make it a certain width. So I'm going to measure from either side. I'm going to have to gauge where it is a little bit. But it's about 1.6, 1.7 meters wide. We're going to do times 1.5. That's only two and a half blocks wide. Now, if you're like me, you know that two and a half blocks wide isn't very much A, and B, you're going to need sideways slabs. Well, the good thing is we're building at an angle, so we can actually compensate for this. We'll build this out on either side, like so. Now, at its skinniest point, it's going to be um, about... How do I do this, actually? Sorry. I'm going to need to go like this, I think. Technically speaking. A very skinny gate, actually. You know what? I'll measure it from here because that seems more accurate. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Got the wrong width. That's also one of the key things about building is you're going to need to double check things. It's actually about two blocks wide. So that'll be three. So if I go back to this. Uh, is that right? So this is a little more than three blocks wide and then right here it's a little less and so it sort of just averages out. And we'll go ahead and lay this out basically the entire way. Pardon? It's like that. The other ones aren't. That's because these ones are the international or heavy aircraft. So you have two aisles on either side. Because this is actually a double gate here. So there's one gate here and one right there. Alright, anyway, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to come along and make a simple outline in the ground. Going to get rid of this old one. And just run it all the way. Sort of just like that. 
Gotta make sure it's lined up properly, and it is. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Now, you may notice that it doesn't thin. You might be like, mind, but the jetway is supposed to get thinner. Well, we'll adjust that a little later. Right now, we're just doing a basic outline of it and the basic parts. So then on the other side of that, we're going to come down and do the other rotunda. And because this is going to be a 737 and this gets a little wonky, we can actually use a proper 737 as a reference for the build. Now, I'm able to actually measure... Oops, got the wrong one right there. I'm able to actually measure the height of it. So right there, which will be 2.85. So it's a total of four-ish blocks off the ground. But is it necessarily four blocks off the ground? Well, what we can do is we can go to our actual SIM 37 and uh, We can check the height of the forward door. The forward door is going to be one, two, three, four blocks off the ground. Sounds about right to me. So we'll end up making it about that high. Now, I'll fill in the a similar rotunda on this end. It's going to look... Oh, that's not Nagasaki Airport. Sometimes Google Earth does that if you try to zoom in a bit. Just have to hit enter. Wow, that took me all the way out into the ocean. Got very low to the ground here. Now this is going to be 2.82, which is going to be relatively the same height as over there. So I'm just going to build this out. And you'll notice our gate is coming together a tiny bit. Yeah. Now I'm going to get rid of this outline right here because we've got the one on the ground. And what we're going to end up doing is we're going to start building the actual gate itself. Now in terms of the gate itself, uh, there's a couple ways that we can go about it uh, in terms of trying to mimic this thin area. Now, we could, in fact, try to actually make it thinner. That's something that I don't suggest doing, and it's something that I typically find a bit hard to do, uh, just because of the way it is. Right. Um, what we can do, right, and by that I mean don't try to go ahead and be like, I'm going to make this bit, sorry, this wide here because it's thinner. That's not necessarily accurate, and it doesn't even let you walk through the way that you just made. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to use a few tricks of our sleeves, especially using some of the resource pack, uh, and we're going to do our best to do that. That also requires us to get a bit of a line that goes down in between the two jetways because we need to know where a block drops every time. Uh, so we're going to come here and we're going to make a little reference. And because this is Minecraft, it's actually really easy to make a reference of the lines. Now this is 21 blocks long uh, and it drops about three blocks uh, and that is helpful. That means uh, it drops six blocks, so we'll just try something a bit simple here. Or six slabs. Now I'm going to make a basic one right here, basic sort of outline. 
And what you may notice is if we line it up right there, there's only one block on this side and three over here. Now what I suggest doing is because these are at the ends of the jetways, you can make this side two blocks. And this one two blocks. Now, that's really basic. But when you consider it, the rotunda bit is actually part of the slant from all the way up here. So what I would actually do, get rid of these two. Okay, this will be three up here. And we're going to go all the way down. Now we're going to be left with a four in the middle. Good news is that we can account for that. We can move it somewhere closer. And now when we really think about it, is there's going to be a four right here, sort of with the actual rotunda at the end of the jetway, which is going to be pretty useful in terms of the slope of the jetway uh, when we go ahead and build it. Hello everyone who's joined recently as well. Anyway, then we can come through and I'm going to use quartz. It's not actually quartz on, it's not actually white on the actual jetway, but it's a bit simpler to build out of, especially for a gate. It's going to just come here. Grab a block of quartz. Now I'm lazy. I don't want to build all of that out individually. Sorry, I'm just thinking here. I'm, I'm doing this all on the spot, so I've, I've just got to think a little bit while I do it. Two at the, no, you wouldn't do two at the ends because um, when you're doing the slope here, okay, the actual, the rotunda bit of the jetway is actually down on this block and it's, it doesn't just go flat when you get here, which is what putting the two at the ends would imply, okay, it's still on that slope, right, um, and you'll notice that on a lot of jetways. Thank you, Rob Aviation. And then I can come along and fill this out. But what I've got is converting that from a line to an angle. I'm gonna actually have to stretch it just a tiny bit. That's gonna come out there. I'm gonna make that one four. So we'll go, I think three, four, three, four, three, four. And then that'll be four at the end. Sort of the best way we can get it. Thank you, Raw Aviation. I would ignore this part now, actually. Sorry, I'm doing this on the spot, and so I completely forgot that we needed to put this at a diagonal. Anyway, we're going to fill this in.
Now, when you're gonna go up a slab, because this is a complete diagonal, it's pretty helpful. You can just cut it off directly. Now, what we'll do is because this is on the three, I'll let the three be the one that sort of goes over a bit more. That way, uh, it sort of gets a bit longer. And we'll just continue filling this in. Wow, that is some ping. And anyway, I will finish this filling it in and you'll notice that we've got the bottom and the top's going to be relatively the same. Now that we've got that out of the way, we can sort of just get rid of this. So we've got this bottom one here and we're just going to come in and we're going to fill in the rest. Cool building trick that everyone needs to know and I've learned this over the years is if you click both of the mouse buttons at the same time, it replaces the block. Very useful at points in time. Anyway, we'll come down here now. Right, n night, I'm streaming to other people, not just you. I, mean, I just filled that in. Now you're gonna notice I didn't fill in the whole thing. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna do the rest. And this one will actually drop down here. So you're gonna just do it the exact same as it is on top. Uh, if you're just doing a basic shape. And then we'll come through and modify it uh, in a bit. And you'll notice you are actually able to walk through this shit way, which is one of the key things I always enjoy being able to add. Uh, sometimes you're not able to. Sometimes, uh, sometimes that's just the way it is.
And anyway, continuing on over here. Well, it looks pretty much centered. Gonna fill that in. Just like so. Hello, Gunner34. And then continuing along here. We get something a little like that. But mind, gates get thinner, to which I answer yes they do. One of the tricks we can use to make them look thinner is knocking off a slab or two of height. Uh, and the way we can do this is simply by just taking off a slab like that. Or you can come to the bottom and do the exact same thing. Now, we need to find where it gets thinner on this jet bridge. Which is about right here. 10.6, so that's about 1.6. It's gonna be about 10 blocks a lot deep. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's gonna get thinner right after that block right there. What we can do is take off a slab of height. Fill that in. Now Depending on what you're building, that might not look the exactly the best. Uh, and especially for this jetway, uh, it doesn't look that good right now. But one thing I haven't mentioned yet is this jetway has a bit of a curve on it, on the roof. So we can actually add that in. And it'll make it oops, look a bit nicer. Just like so. And I believe there's going to be a curve on the underside, but we'll add that. Or we can add that now, actually. And we'll get a shape sort of like that, and we'll do it on the other side. And that's the jet bridge with a curve in it. Looks a little funky, but it works. Now, back to basically making this sort of a slab lower. We'll come through and we'll do that all along here. And then we'll also round this off so it looks a little cleaner. We'll do that on either side. Just like that. It 
here we go. It's like that on the underside. And we'll do it on the top. Fill that in right there. So now you've got the jetway, and it looks sort of like it thins right there. Now that's one option you can do. Personally, for a jetway like this, I wouldn't actually make it thin at all. I'm just doing this sort of to show you the options. Um, it just doesn't work, especially at a 45 degree angle, as you can see. Um, and at 1.5 to 1 scale. So I personally, if I were you, I'm not doing this. Uh, I'm just showing what you can do. that up like so. Hello Madden Green. Uh, do you mean the big white, the big box? It's not white. You have to look at an actual photo, it's grey. And if you look at the video that you posted, it's grey. This is called not using Google Earth to use your colors to get color references. Because Google Earth doesn't do colors correctly. Come back through. Made a bit of a mess doing that. Haven't I? Uh. Ah, oh, that's why. If you left click and right click at the same time, it replaces a block. So let me show you. See, I've got this red block right here. I'm going to use quartz. I'm going to use both buttons and it replaces it. I've got grass. Click both buttons, it replaces it. Anyway, that's the slope we've got for the jet bridge. I'm not going to make it thin. It's just impractical. And we can actually check how wide it is over here. It's not going to get realistically thinner. Now, if we're, say, building at a different angle, 45 degrees is actually one of the harder angles to build a jet bridge at. Yeah, so that goes down to around there. I mean, the other option is you can use um, sideways slabs in our resource pack, although that doesn't really help. What did I use for VHX? Yeah, they, they don't work very well. So like VHX is similar. 
it's four blocks wide here. Um, we didn't have it thin there. ATR seventy two old Q four hundred. Uh, it doesn't thin there for the seven five seven. No, it does not. Th yeah, we basically said at one point five to one, it's just too thin to have it do that. One of the differences is we made the jet bridges a bit thinner here. Now I might go back in the future and make that jet bridge that we just made a tiny bit thinner, uh, particularly because it probably is. Um, but again, 45 degrees is one of the harder scales to work with. So just trying our best. And five wide here, even though it's technically only really oh, uh, what is this? Three. Even though it is technically right, where it's only four-ish. Uh, did I do this? That's 3.2. That's a bit more than four, but if you go here, I assume it Yeah, it basically averages out to the number we need. Another option is to do sort of the gate at a little tiny bit of an angle. Which I might come through and do later. So you have it like this. That way it's not as thick. I could even come and do it right now, just to show you guys what that would look like. But yeah, that's basically how you make the gate itself, which is what I wanted to get the essence of and sort of show you guys. I'll make a proper video later. Um, of course, you're gonna have to come through and do all the detailing on the rotunda and the detailing over here, but that's less important. I think the key thing that people asked for is how to do the actual gate itself, which is this long bit. Like, how to do window. I don't get a block, put it right there, there you go, that's a window. Uh, that's less important. How to make thing that goes over plane. There you go, goes over the plane. Uh, and then I'll also show you what it will look like if we make it a tiny bit thinner. Um, so, the easiest way for me to do this is just to move everything in using some world edit. So you notice it's not centered anymore as something that we just have to deal with. Now this does actually help in terms of making the jetway um, look thinner. Has that essence the whole way through.
This song sounds like a Christmas song. And something looks messy. I should get rid of this thing. Air team overlay. I redo it, but considering this is 1.5.1 and I build 1 to 1, I don't think it's that is the most viable option. Um, messiness is cor what a lot of people don't get is messiness is correct sometimes. There, there's the music. So that's just sort of something that, you, if you were to make it a bit thinner, this is what it would sort of look like. You can do a little tweaking, of course, uh, to make it look a little smoother. That's just the general essence of it. But then you will notice that this end, it, it's not centered. Uh, I mean, there's a trick that we could do. To um, get it. You could make the circle a circle, but not a circle. So I'd come through and do something like that. Uh, needs to line up. Issue is it doesn't connect. Um, but then you would use sideways slabs and replace the sideways slabs there. Um, but again, w once you get to like here, it becomes a little bit of a like uh, messy because it's just thinner. That's how it is. And then you're building it at 45 degrees so it doesn't necessarily connect perfectly. Um, it's just stuff you're gonna have to deal with. Gates are hard to do, I'll be honest with you. I don't, like I like building gates, but at the same time I, I'm just like, I find them a bit tedious. But that, that's generally the gist of getting in a gate like that. Um, and then again, especially for 1.5 to 1, don't try to make it thinner. It doesn't work. It doesn't look good. And it's technically wrong anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's basically it for that. I mean, I guess I could go through and start adding a little bit of detail. I don't think I want to do that right now, um, but again, this is just, I wanted to show you guys how to do the actual gate itself, and then you can also walk through it and bounce on either side. What did we do at spawn? We have, we have, we have, we have a bunch of gates at spawn that we did. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing here. Where, where we just, you just can't, it's in 1.5 to 1, it's just impractical to try and thin it. Ruralis had made this gate, which is like over the top. Um,
but yeah. Anyway, that was about an hour long stream. I took a while trying to explain the, the idea of making the actual gate fit. Maybe I'll show you guys eventually. Well, in the actual proper video, I'll probably show you how to make the prop the rotunda and the actual thing that attaches to the aircraft. Uh, but for now, that's basically it. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Take care.